guys, there was a Q&A that went up regarding the Galaxy. Um, now, I haven't actually read this myself, so let's go through, we'll break it down. Hopefully, this will answer some of the questions regarding the Galaxy. So, first question. If it doesn't come, if it doesn't have a module, is the center of the ship just empty room, or does the Galaxy come with a stock module? So, if you have no module, the Galaxy has an empty void area with a shell to keep it airtight, allowing you to traverse from hangar to the rest of the ship as a simply empty space. You could put stuff uh, in there, but with a lack of cargo plates, it would be subject to all the normal risks of unsecured cargo. So you can use it for cargo storage, but do keep in mind, subject to flying around, bouncing around, and you know, blowing up, stuff like that. The Galaxy does not come with a stock module for two reasons. Firstly, we want the players to pick up the initial module rather than be saddled with whatever they would have base. And secondly, these modules take up physical space and an inventory like components. Third, it also it's good money owner for size But to be honest, I, I actually like this idea. I like the fact that it is a base site and you go through and you get to pick your, your module. Uh, because it does allow me to fully customize what I want when I want and like it says don't have to worry about you know Getting rid of the old module or whatever it may be What is involved in changing the modules for example, how long will it take where can it be done blah blah blah? So due to the size the modules need to be swapped out at a location capable of that type of work such as cousin crow shops and Require the ship to be there for a period of time. Okay Ex uh, exact timings are still to be determined but due to relative ease of access, remove lower cap and exchange the module, this should be this should not be a lengthy process. So, okay, cool. I actually like that idea. So you have to take it somewhere like Cousin Crows. They'll obviously uh, uh, remove the the empty module or the, the void or whatever it is. Uh, that, 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 yeah. And then put in the actual, put in the, the actual cargo module or whatever module it may be. Uh, can the Galaxy's modules be dropped off on the planet to create a temporary base? No. The modules themselves require power and cooling from its ship itself, so they're not able to function independently. In addition, they are installed with a cover cap to lock them in place, which is why they need to be removed first. Okay, cool. Yeah. Will there be any medical equipment in the non-modular section of the ship? No, obviously not. It, they want you to buy the medical. Uh, no, there is no medical equipment. Uh, such as med bed outside the medical modules. Okay. Uh, Galaxy doesn't seem to be well shielded. That this is one of the questions I have, right? Because at the end of the day, um, like other uh, people have said, you know, at the end of the day, you go through and you compare it to something like, for example, the hammerhead that has two size three shields. Um, yeah. So yeah. Uh, uh, this is part of a long-term relook of how shields, but all components function across the ships. Expect to see more updates on this in the new year with the further information on what ships are having alterations to their loadouts to accommodate it. In short, the Galaxy will be well shielded for its size of the roll. Size 3 large shield will be significantly different than two uh, size 2 medium ones that a lot of ships will find themselves with either fewer larger items or more than two smaller items to help provide greater gameplay. So, let me re reiterate that. It has a size 3 large shield, right? Will be significant different to size 2 mediums. Okay, but that doesn't solve the, the issue or, or answer the question about like the hammerhead that has two size 3s, right? Uh, and a lot of ships will find themselves with either few fewer large items or more than two smaller items to help provide greater gameplay. I wonder if they're going to go through and like rebalance a lot of these ships. I wonder if like the Hammerhead, for example, will lose one of their shield generators. Interesting. Seems like there's going to be like a major rebalance, like ships and shields and stuff and components on the on the yeah on the future. What is under the bridge? Uh, it's cool looking visual design, but no tech to gameplay functionality. Okay. 
Uh, can we get an explanation of what two rooms are on the first floor of the very front of the galaxy? On the upper deck, the f uh, front two rooms behind the bridge are uh, for the crew lift and docking collar. Cool. On the lower decks, the forward room is for components and one further rearward is the crew locker suit room for exiting the vehicle via the lifts. Okay. Are there any turret pilots controlled? If not, does the pilot have any other weapons available? The pilot has only access to the missiles. The turrets are controlled by the crew. Okay. Now, my question for this is, didn't we see... We see three different turrets on the ship, right? One at the front, two on each side. So, is there three seats that we might have maybe missed? I, I saw two, but I, I thought maybe there's... Maybe there's three. Um, look, at the end of the day, obviously, yeah, you're not supposed to solo in large ships like this. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm still going to try and do it. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, at the end of the day, it's not something you're supposed to do. Uh, but you do also have access to the missiles, too, which are going to be quite bumpy. How does refinery module work compared to the MISC Expanse's ability to run six separate refinery jobs simultaneously? Does the module have any storage for refine ore on its own? So the Galaxy's refine module has both storage for raw and unrefined materials. Outside of just saddlebag storage like the Expanse, as well as two reactors that are much larger than the Expanse's. Okay. So when it comes to fewer simultaneous jobs, it can process much larger quantities per job and store them after. So I presume after you've done the job, it will spit out the containers and then you'll be able to put them like in a storage room or something like that. Like, like I presume this is what this area here is. These will come out like I do here and then it'll like make a new box. That's my guessing, by the way, you know. Um, can the galaxy uh, refuel its quantum tank somehow from the refined quantum? This is interesting. <coughs> because I've always thought maybe we could might be able to use it for an explosion ship. Uh, there's no direct connection to the quantum tanks from the refineries. God damn it. Unlike the Miss Goddess Sea, so any refined quantum by the galaxy is for sale or trade rather than automatic refueling its own tanks. Okay, that kind of sucks, but I get it. So the Galaxy Promotes website states the dedicated hangar, sizable cargo hold. Does that mean that the entire after deck area is cargo grid of 64 SCU? Or is it just the sides of it? So the 64 SCU cargo grids are two 32 grids spaced at the edge of the hangar and do not interfere with the hangar metrics. Allow for both extra small ship and 64 to be stored simultaneously. Okay. Can the cargo module be used as an improvised hangar? Can you use tractor beams to pull the tumbler nova, blah, blah, blah. This is a case of will it fit. If you can fit the vehicle through the door to the hangar or up the lift, then it's uh, perfectly possible, but not intended. Uh, what can you tell us about the galaxy's maneuverability? So due to the galaxy's size, expected to be closer to the Carrick in terms of maneuverability and speed rather than the Constellation. Meaning she's a big girl, but she's going to have some thrust. Does the hangar have a refuel repair capabilities? The galaxy has no inbuilt system to refuel or repair. So you would rely on players to bring the tools and equip to do so. Okay. Kind of sucks, but I'll get it. What size ship can we fit in the Galaxy's hangar? It's an extra small. Such so as capable... F uh, it's not capable of fitting a prospector. However, the refinery module is fully capable with the prospector and Argo models so, uh, saddlebags. So they can still offer their material and be refined. The rear hangar does not have a ramp as a ramp to the required angle would extend the ship's footprint behind its design, behind, beyond its design hangout metrics.
So to conf uh, confuse, uh, so to clear up some confusion with the hanger size, we have extra, extra small, extra small, small, medium, and large, and extra large. So there's no extra small or extra extra small hangers at the um, at the landing pads, but there are at Port Alisar. So that gives you an idea of what'll fit. So extra small metrics are the Pisces, Argo, PTUV, the Razor, and the Origin XT5 and the Origin M50. All right. So at the end of the day, guys, look, obviously, um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, obviously, it's a bit of a bummer that you can't refine the materials for Quantum and then refuel the ship. I would have liked, you know, maybe like a fuel cap or something. Um, but I do understand why they're doing that. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, apart from that, obviously, it's also a bit of a bummer about the Prospector not fitting, but we knew it was an extra small, extra, extra small, whatever it is. Uh, we knew about the hang on not fitting the prospector before we brought it, so no big deal there. Obviously, I'd like to see what the other modules will be in the future. Um, look, I obviously, I'd, I'd like to use it for an exploration ship, to be honest. But at the end of the day, if it comes to push comes to shove, like, obviously, I like this better than the MISC, than the uh, Expanse. Um, just because of the, the design. I like the design a lot better. Um, if RSI comes out with an exploration ship, I'd probably switch the Galaxy to that. Um, I already have enough cargo and, and all that sort of stuff at the moment anyway. Um, but yeah, like I say, at the end of the day, uh, my, my reasons for this was um, as like a medium-sized cargo runner um, and also for the refinery because I do have the Prospector and I have a lot of friends who have the Prospector too. So, yeah, we could possibly use it for the refinery. But like I say, at the end of the day, you know, uh, if they bring out like a, uh, some sort of uh, exploration ship that's made by RSI or Anvil or something like that, I'll probably switch. Um, I want to get into exploration gameplay, but I just, I just don't like the shape of the misc. It's just, it's very round. But, uh, but like I say, apart from that, I, I love the, the style of the, of the RSI Galaxy. It looks sexy as shit. Um, and like I say, between now and then, even if they don't bring out some sort of, which they will, but even if they don't bring out some sort of exploration ship, we can still do it for like the refinery and stuff and like that, and for more cargo. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Obviously this video has been helpful. Please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. We are obviously awaiting the patch for 318. Um, there's still no word on it yet. Uh, yeah. Looks like there's still nothing yet. Um, it's like the worst edging experience ever. Because, uh, yeah, apart from that, obviously when it goes live, we'll put up a video. Apart from that, have a great night, enjoy yourself, and we'll see you in the verse.